Good evening, everybody. Matrix here, and here's your watch list for April 18th. First up, we have URI. Uh, just going to go over some earnings plays for tomorrow. Uh, announce earnings after hours. Uh, very positive reaction here. Um, just going to dive right into it. Uh, I am expecting a little bit of a run up to test this 135. And if 135 breaks out, uh, we are going up higher into this uh, daily level area. So um, taking a look at support real quick, we have uh, 133.50 right there. Um, URI can actually run. So that's the sign of support I'm seeing, which is kind of right there, as you see on the 30 minute chart. Okay, uh, looking for a dip. Uh, we're coming down, printing a little slightly lower uh, after hours. So looking for a dip at the open and see if this holds. Um, the next support would be the $130 area. Right here, that's uh, another major support. Uh, also a key psychological number. And this 132 as well, actually. So let's take a look at that on the daily chart real quick. Yeah, 132. I guess you'll see it clearer here on the five minute chart. Right here, you see this? 131.73. So three levels of support here. Let's call it 131.75. All right, so looking for a dip and rip on the URI. Uh, of course, we will test the 135. Key psychological whole number. Uh, that's what I'll be watching. Um, as well as coming here on the daily chart, the next level of resistance is, uh, well, here is the 134 is where we're sitting right now. Uh, let's check my notes here. 137.75, next level. 137.75. Seventy-five. Okay, so right about this area, right here. Um, and one thirty-nine is what I'm looking for as target. Uh, this thing is very overextended. What I'm looking for tomorrow is um, probably a little pop at the open and then fail, or it could dip at the open rip and then fail so definitely looking at these key resistance areas 136 is uh well 136.50 actually mark that off as well here nice area it's basically this uh big volume bar at the open 136.50 so this is also a significant area so i'll be marking off these resistance here uri um, next up, AA Alcoa. Um, they had a, initially they had a good reaction to the earnings and then it started selling off. Uh, overall, the earnings call was uh, pretty shitty. Um, I'm going to look for a pop and drop here tomorrow. And uh, let's take a look at the 30 minute chart real quick. So, what I see right now, right away, like uh, this 2750 area is uh, pretty key and the reason why i tw picked 2750 i know it doesn't correlate to the to the 30 minute chart but it correlates a lot with the daily chart over here okay um also area of resistance right here 2725 so at the open really depends on whether it opens above or below here 2725 and uh, we have 27. So probably uh, every quarter. Let's take a look at the average shoe range for our coal. Average shoe range is about 87 cents. So using quarter marks are actually pretty nice. Um, 2750, 27, and finally 2665. So bring it a little bit down here. Now, why 26.55 and not this bottom? Well, you can use this bottom, but this bottom kind of counts as like the 27 area, right? 
2665 here on the daily chart. I mean, if this here breaks through, then there is nothing holding it up until the next level at 26. Okay, so uh, looking for a sell off. I, I think they, they would definitely want to test these highs over here. It's kind of like uh, what IBM did today, right? Uh, Pre-market, it came down, and then at the open, it dipped a little bit, held, and then ripped back up. Uh, came back up to a prior level of resistance. Actually, this is better, 2740. And then uh, faded again to uh, the 27 mark. So I'm looking for a pre-market sell-off, and then opening, uh, dip, hold, run back up and then sell off again, finish closing at around $27 area. And to illustrate that, I mean, um, if I bring up IBM chart, it's basically exactly the same thing, right? So dip at the open, run up, fade back down right here, okay? Uh, Qcom is next. Qcom is not an earnings play, but looking at this chart overall, this is a very bullish chart, right? Um, we have a nice uptrend. Uh, for me to get long in this chart for another day of running, uh, it needs to get above this 28, uh, sorry, uh, this $80 mark and reclaim this $80 mark and hold for me to get long. And uh, we did make 52 week highs today, but quickly sold off from there at 82.50, right? So um, if you're longing, then this would be the target and then beyond. Uh, we do have some resistance level here at uh, 7880s, which is very immediate here. Okay, right there, as you can see, uh, right around this area. Let me zoom in real quick, right here in this area. And then uh, the next level of support, we have 78. So I expect, I expect 78 to hold a little bit. And uh, I still like it for long. I know it's stupid extended. Um, overall, this chart looks like a long, right? It's an ascending triangle, and I don't think the hard pullback will actually come until it reaches this 82.50 level again and retest it. And if the buyers don't like it from here, then it's going to dump, okay? Um, it can still go both ways. Uh, the selling point here for me is that it needs to hold above 80 for very convicted long otherwise then uh, uh, I might just watch it on the side or if there's 78 holds then you can definitely take it back up to the 80 I think it's gonna do like a choppy day consolidation day tomorrow um, I'm gonna go to team uh, earnings again reaction very weak now this Usually, uh, after a very weak earnings, obviously, uh, the first uh, conviction is always going to be a short. But, however, I've seen this kind of uh, action too many times. Let's look at overall uh, the team chart here. It's been upgrinding. It's a very strong chart. Okay. Uh, where did it bounce off of? It bounced off of 99, right? But the key, key level here is the 100. Very key level. So, definitely watching the 100 level and see what it does tomorrow. Okay, uh, after this massive, massive drop, we have a reversal, a V formation reversal over here. And to me, this looks pretty bullish. Uh, looking over here on the team daily chart, this thing doesn't have any gaps. All gaps gets filled, right? So uh, I am actually expecting a long on this tr trade tomorrow, um, looking for a dip to hold the... 100 or the 99 double bottom and then run back up okay and the uh, target levels well the first resistance i see is 10180s okay right here at this red wick here and then the next level is at uh, 1025 which is a nice psychological whole number and as you can see on the daily chart it respects these whole numbers, like these psychological numbers very well. And then obviously the next one, we have 103. Uh, sorry, 105 is what I'll be looking for. 
right around this area. Okay, so looking for a dip and a hold and a bounce. 100 level, very key. It needs to hold for me to long this back up. Uh, 200 SMA coming down. But it has sold off a lot. The stock does have a history to fill gaps. So tomorrow, uh, looking for a gap fill, pull back. Um, this reminds me a lot of the BBBY chart. Okay when it had bad earnings. So let's zoom out a little bit. This is the bad earnings day. And then it did a V formation and it ran all day. Um, yeah, this is the type of uh, move that I'll be looking at for uh, on team. And then uh, finally, we have uh, AAPL, Apple. Apple is not an earnings play, but it closed very, very strong today. Now, what I'm looking at here on daily chart is uh, whenever Apple has a massive green day, the next day it likes to open sideways, pop a little bit, and drop. Right here as well, massive solid green day, open sideways, pop, and drop. Massive green day, open sideways, pop a little bit, and drop. So same thing. Massive green day today. I'm going to look for it to open sideways, pop, and drop. Um, resistance, resistance, resistance. Uh, definitely going to test the highs here of today, which is 203.40. Uh, smooth that up. And then we come to the daily chart, looking for resistance here. Uh, Oh, it's 204.50 area is nice. And I think the the wick might get a little higher. <clears throat> Excuse me. Are we around here? 206. Okay. I'm oh, zooming back in. Looking for a sideways pop and drop. Uh, this is where I project the wick to be, 205, 206 area. And uh, pull it back down. Pull it back down uh, to, if it doesn't pop and drop, then uh, we have support here, right? Uh, this high. Let me see here. The support is 202.27. And, right? Why 202.27? Oh, because right here. And also right here, 201.40s area. Yeah. Okay, so zooming in on the 30 minute chart, here is your immediate support, 202.27, and then your other support here, uh, 201.40. So I'll be looking for a dip to hold and then long back up. I think the apple is gonna go sideways tomorrow. It closed very strong, right? So uh, most likely, definitely ready for this pattern and uh, also ready for a dip and rip pattern. Okay, so that's Apple. That's basically my watch list this evening. I'm very tired, so I'm just going to call it a night this evening. Uh, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys all bright and early tomorrow. Ciao.